So here we have question 14 from exercise 17b, page 385. So we're told a normal distribution is uh, quite standard. We're told that some specific outcome x, when it's less than that, the outcome's probability is k. And we're told to find this the probability that x um, is less than some something that looks like that. So we start off with our basic normal distribution um, with mu and sigma. And we start off standardizing. So z is equal to x take mu on sigma and we plug in our values. So our specific case x oh, is in fact x. Um, so there's our x value and it's less than because we're told it's less than and the outcome of that is equal to k. So the area of this is in fact k. So when we take phi of that z value it is equal to k. So in fact there's nothing to plug into this because x is x, mu is mu, and the standard deviation is that. And that's just what we're told at this point. So now we're asked to go on to find uh, the next scenario. So we look at the case when we've got our mean average here, and we're going to consider some specific x value that takes the value of 2 mu take x. So when I say it's a specific x value, it's not this x, it's all of this. The answer to that takes the value of x. So we're going to plug into z equals x take mu on sigma. So as I was saying just now, this value of x is not that little x there. All of that is replaced with 2 mu take x as a substitution. So we just ping that into there. z is equal to 2 mu take x, pop back to the take mu. So there's my x. I'm treating all of that as x, take mu on sigma. And simplifying that just gives me 2 mu take mu is just mu and take x on sigma. And you'll notice hopefully that x take mu on sigma is linked to mu take x on sigma. And let's just figure out what's going on there. So if we just plug in 10 take 4 on 2 for example equals 3. I'm just making up numbers here just to show you what's going on. So if 10 was the x and 4 was the mu. And now if I just swap them around because it's mu take x. So if I just did... Um, 4 take 10 and 2, so that'd be minus 6 or 2, negative 3. So these numbers just came from my head, um, just to show us what was going on here. So if this was the answer to that, let's say it was 3, the answer to this would be negative 3. So we've got the same value, but one is negative and one is positive. And that's the, the key to what's going on here, because if we consider our, um, our positive version, um, when we knew that this val this area here was k from above and we knew that that was x here how is that linking to the negative version of that and when i say negative i mean the negative z value this was a z value so we know it's the same distance <coughs> from the same distance from um, the mean average but instead of the positive version um, we're saying it's the same distance, well, if it was 3, it'd be minus 3. So it's the same distance away from the mean. They're not currently equal, but if we were to, if we were to do 1, subtract that area, um, then they would be the same. And the reason for that is because if we consider this area, same as above, and we consider this little bit here, as in that small bit there. So if we added these two it equal one. So that if I did one subtract that small area, it's the same as the graph above based on the symmetry of these two graphs. They are the, in fact the same the same graph. So if this area was indeed k, this area here is we well just follow it is one is equal to one take k, which in fact is our answer. And the reason for that is because this plays on the property that if you're doing phi of a z value, that is equal to um, the negative version of the z value when you do one take away it. And that is one of the key properties of normal distributions, and that's, that's what this is getting at. So hopefully you can see that when we did one take away the negative z value up here, it gave us the positive version um, or the same area. 
So once again, our answer is one.